kind of deep rooted psychology, which is really interesting. And I would just meditate on my own DNA. My DNA, I knew that my DNA would tell me everything. I know what's, I know what's gonna come, I know what's gonna happen. What I know is gonna happen, humanity is not ready to hear about. I have a brother who's a Rockefeller and I will not say his name. Up until I was four years old, I spent every single day that my father spent in the Pentagon. And I was allowed to do whatever I wanted. I could have been, I think that ultimately maybe they were trying to take me away from all the pain. Mm -hmm. Because never once have I ever been hurt by any extraterrestrial. My brother who's the Rockefeller told me that I, I tried to talk to him before about everything because I knew my mom wasn't my mom. I, I knew that things were askew. I knew that all these ETs were coming into my home and, and everything I've told you. And I was trying to put my own puzzle pieces together and I'm like, you know, what's going on here? And he said, there's absolutely no way I'm telling you. He said, but in three years, you're going to come back to me. And he said, at that moment is the moment I'm going to tell you that you're absolutely correct. And he said the one word answer was yes. Okay, so you believe you're related on the ET side. What about the Rock? Are, is there a marriage between the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds? They're all interbred. You're saying your real sort of awakening, though, only happened like three years ago? I know it. I know what's, that there's something going on here. And then when my son had his breakdown, it was like a flood started happening in my family immediately. I just everything came. I understand who you say your father was, uh, more or less, but we're also talking about the entire Rothschild family, yeah. right? Yeah. So in, in terms of, you know, the, the lineage of this group of people, right, you understand that the reptilian influence uh, on 100%. them. 100%. And yet you fully acknowledge that you're half reptilian, right? Absolutely. Do you remember interactions with the Catholic Church? I've seen ritual sacrifices of children in the Vatican in the bowels of it. And are you also aware of what is called the Anunnaki? Okay. Absolutely. Anunnaki is a very, it's a, it, it encompasses many races. Searching for love any way I could get. And I was married at this time, you know. I've mm -hmm. been married since 1989. Um, but I became extremely promiscuous, and that's my monarch programming, you know, that was coming out of me. I would always be promiscuous with military men. It was always a military man because I couldn't pinpoint why was I doing these behaviors? Why was I acting out? Why would I get so upset? Why would I uh, uh, go sleep with all these men? I have a beautiful, wonderful husband, and and I would go off searching for love, and I had unconditional love at home. So you knew you came from, like, the military-industrial complex, yes, so to speak. Yes, I even remembered the rapes that were done to me at four years old, but I didn't know why they happened to me. I thought it was just something that happened to me. I didn't realize it was part of the programming. That was my very initial breakdown. That was the, the, the time when they took me from one to two. You, you understand what I mean, from right. personality to two. They took me away from the man that loved me so much, and that was Mangala. And, and that broke me in and of itself. And that breaking plus the rapes did it. Right now I'm talking to Aaron. Right, absolutely. Is there multiple I, I like to think I've integrated, but who knows? They did try to wipe my mind. The Nazi influence is heavy in my family from, okay. from my father and mother. My what? father's uh, cover job was a congressional aide. That's it. Right. And he headed everything. Yeah. You know? I have taught all of my children so that they're absolutely uh, aware of where they're from, who they are, and, and the fact that don't, don't think it's a curse to be uh, uh, a half reptilian. See, the government knows how to take your soul and just put it in this one, or put it in this one, right. put it in this one. Okay, are you in touch with members of the Rothschild family? No. Not at all? No. Okay. Have you ever been? Yes. Do you remember that? When I was a child, we used to go around them all the time. Because okay. um, as a child, I, um, I was very used to being around Kennedys, around Rothschilds, around Rockefellers, around all of the, those elite. My father always was uh, taking me around them. A genius thinks he's so smart.